subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Teams today, must release apps quickly to attract and keep business. This requirement, forces software development and support teams, to always look at solutions that save time and reduces costs. An ideal solution will reduce the time spent on creating, and configuring deployment environments, and simplify the software deployment process. The idea of using software containerization technology as a time-saving and cost reduction solution, is popular. One of the strengths of containerization is that you don't have to configure hardware, and spend time installing operating systems and software to host a deployment. Containers are isolated from each other, and multiple containers can run on the same hardware. This configuration helps us use hardware more efficiently, and can help improve our application's security. Docker is a set of platform-as-a-service products, that uses OS-level virtualization, to deliver software in packages called containers. Containers are isolated from one another, and bundle their own software, libraries, and configuration files, they can communicate with each other through well-defined channels. The process of developing and managing applications in a company, typically includes one or more teams. There's a development team that creates the software, and an operations team, responsible for the deployment of these applications. The operations team is also responsible for the management of the application hosting infrastructure. Docker is a containerization platform used to develop, ship, and run containers. Docker doesn't use a hypervisor, and you can run Docker on your desktop or laptop if you're developing and testing applications. The desktop version of Docker supports Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. For production systems, Docker is available for server environments, including many variants of Linux and Microsoft Windows Server 2016 and above. Many clouds, including Azure, supports Docker. A container is a loosely isolated environment, that allows us to build and run software packages. These software packages include the code and all dependencies to run applications quickly and reliably on any computing environment. We call these packages container images. The container image becomes the unit we use to distribute our applications. Software containerization is an OS virtualization method that is used to deploy and run containers without using a virtual machine. Containers can run on physical hardware, in the cloud, VMs, and across multiple OSs. Let's take a look at Docker architecture. The Docker client. The Docker client is a command line application that provides us with a command line interface to interact with the Docker server. The Docker command uses the Docker REST API to send instructions, to either a local, or remote server and functions, as the primary interface we use to manage our containers. The Docker Server The Docker Server is a daemon. The daemon responds to requests from the client via the Docker REST API and can interact with other daemons. The Docker Server is also responsible for tracking the lifecycle of our containers. Docker Objects there are several objects that you'll create and configure to support your container deployments. These include networks, storage volumes, plugins, and other service objects. We won't cover all of these objects here, but it's good to keep in mind, that these objects are items that we can create and deploy, as needed. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 